Mike Powell. Yesterday, Mike Powell, the great champion Mike Powell and world record holder. So yesterday we saw Brittany Reese win her mm -hmm. third back-to-back -back world championship title. Right. What did you think of her performance? I think that she pulled one out because um, she didn't look very good in the qualifying round and even begin the competition, but everybody knows that she's so talented that she can put a big jump out at any time, and she did. She doesn't have the best technique in the world, though, does she? No, it's horrible, to tell you the truth. I mean, I've been, I've been coaching. I was coaching against her when she was in the university level, and I'm like, wow, she's got so much talent. But she uh, no technique, though, and it's not gotten any better. But she's so much better than everybody else talent-wise that, you know, she gets away with the victories. But I think the Okabari blessing, though, is coming up. She could have jumped 730, maybe. You know, she had been on the board. So it's going to be a little more difficult for her now, though. I was just actually going to ask you about Blessing because a lot of people are talking about her. She's creating a bit of a buzz. What do you think? I mean, she, she's a sprinter as well. She's a long jumper. Mm -hmm. What do you think she's capable of? Um, well, the thing is, she's, I, I coached against her when she was in um, college also. And so I know all about her. And her coach, uh, John Smith, is, is my mentor. So anybody that he's coaching, I have to root for. So um, I know all about her. She's very, very talented. She's very long. You know, and that helps a lot when you're jumping and raise your center of gravity. So her potential is, and she can run 10.6 and jump, you know, 7.30. I think you know as well, but that to be a top class athlete, you also have to have the, the right mindset that goes with it. Do you think she has that? Um, I, I don't know her that well. And I think the only time you can find out is if when people do it, you know, because the, um, at this level, the physicality is almost the same. What makes the difference is mentally. Who's strong mentally to handle whatever situation that comes up? And it's going to happen. Bad things are going to happen. So how do you deal with it? So um, those are, that's, that's what I learned in competing against like Carl Lewis and stuff like that. You have to be able to, to deal with any situation. Okay, let's talk about the men. Um, okay, we've got Dwight Phillips who's here, mm -hmm. who's trying to defend his title. Mm -hmm. What do you think about his chances? Well, I think that uh, Dwight's a competitor, and I wouldn't put anything past him. Um, I know he's been ailing with his health, but uh, I think if he can get to the final, he may be able to surprise some people. But um, I think it'll be tough to beat Minkoff, though. Minkoff's been jumping consistently, and he's at home. And I, I know the Russian crowd is just waiting for somebody to yell for. So when he gets on the run, well, he's going to get a lot of support. We're here in Moscow. What, what, what is the mindset of these athletes? You know, what are they thinking as they're preparing? It's a world championship event. Mm -hmm. You're off to the Olympics. It might have been a little bit draining to come off the Olympics, but some of them are still doing great performances. Right. What are they going through at this point? <coughs> Excuse me. Well, the thing is, the athletes who were competing in the Olympic Games and then come to the world championships now, it's, it's kind of like is a chance to like start a whole new cycle again, getting ready for the next Olympic Games. So this is a, a new thing. So either people are coming off of winning an Olympic medal and, and looking forward to um, you know doing well here also, or they didn't do so well and they want to really do well here. You know, and but a lot of people are just happy to be at the World Championships, just like me. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Thank you.